All right, here we go. This painting has got Murphy's Law written all over it. Because everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But what do you expect when you start painting in your bathrobe, you lazy bum? Well, anyway, I don't like this color blue. I thought the Pink Panther came out. I don't know. I like it when they come out a little bit funky, you know, not exactly like they should be. That's why I don't use projectors or anything. But this one came out too good, I guess. So, yeah. Just check this out. The next 20 seconds. <laughs> you know what I mean. There you go. Wipe it out. I'm actually thinking of uh, maybe like a hundred. I paint every day. Number 100 should be bloopers and the takeouts because of course I make mistakes sometimes but I don't show them to you all the time I'm giving myself another chance to get it right starting with the dot com it's modern writing In this painting I'm starting with the, the black outlines actually. Normally I start uh, with the background, but on this one uh, I want to try to fill the colors in later, even though I don't think there will be much color in this painting, as I am on this totally black and white trip lately. gets kind of interesting like that though because right now I can have some of the fill in the gray of course follow the black outline you know as you can see with the arrow right now it stands out from the background and that you don't have when you first paint the whole background and then one last layer of outlines on top of it so this is nice business card some Indian typography I got this from a folder from an Indian restaurant probably means chicken masala or something Here I go with some Russian typography that I got from this folder from a strip club where I ended up with my man Don last time I was in Moscow. But that's a whole different story. And here I'm putting in some Arabian typography and I'm already starting on finishing off the painting, which is my favorite activity. activity. That was a little close up of my studio. Messy as always. Alright, one final thing. Put some elements of the Turkish flag in there. The moon and the star. Very, very Arabian feel, I think. And you know, that's that. <laughs> 